In this overview, I will be introducing Oracle Autonomous Database and the features it provides to users. I will demonstrate how Autonomous Data Warehouse and Autonomous Transaction Processing simplify building and operating enterprise data management systems. Deployment of a business-scale mission-critical database has been a complex and labor-intensive task. It requires a database administrator, or even a team of them, to set up the infrastructure, install and deploy the database software, and take care of all the requirements such as security, recovery, tuning, etc. Oracle Autonomous Database changes this traditional practice by automating the full database management lifecycle. It takes care of the deployment process and also automates the entire management processes. In this way, it enables you to innovate more and pay less. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure allows us to introduce the world's first autonomous database by combining the most optimized infrastructure for running database systems, the complete database software, and the machine learning algorithms which automate data center operations. Now, let's look at six key elements in the life cycle of a database and see how the autonomous database automates each of those elements. Autonomous database allows us to provision a mission critical database on a cluster of exadata machines in a few minutes. Once the database is provisioned, we need to make sure it's secure. Autonomous database automatically encrypts all the data which is stored in the database and also makes sure all the connections to the database are secure. Also, it applies all the operating system and database software patches automatically. The autonomous database recovers from any failure without any downtime to your application. The other feature is the elastic scalability. It allows you to increase or decrease resources that you are dedicating to your database, which enables you to truly pay per use. Finally, we have machine learning algorithms which are running behind the scene and optimize your database for your specific workload. Autonomous database comes in two flavors, which are optimized for different types of workloads. Autonomous data warehouse, which is optimized for analytical workloads, and autonomous transaction processing, which is optimized for transaction processing and mixed workloads. With all the features of the autonomous database, you are spending less to have a mission-critical database, you have more time to innovate for your specific business, and you are assured that your data is safe and secure. Now, let's move to the first section. Let me show you how easy it is to provision an autonomous database instance which runs on a cluster of Exadata machines. Once you are logged into the Oracle Cloud Services, you can click on the icon on top left, go to Services, and select Autonomous Data Warehouse. In this page, you can click on Create Autonomous Database. and the popped-up wizard, you need to specify the workload, the name of the database, and specify the minimum amount of uh, resources that you want to dedicate to your database, specifically the number of CPU cores and the amount of storage you want to dedicate to the system. So right now, let's go with the bare minimum, which is one CPU core and one terabyte of storage. The only remaining part is providing a password for your database to make sure the database is safe and secure. Finally, you can select the license. If you have any database license, you can bring that. Otherwise, you can subscribe to a new database software license and click on autonomous database creation. That's it. You just provision your first autonomous data warehouse instance. The provisioning process usually takes something between three to five minutes. Once the database is provisioned, you have access to multiple options, as you can see here. You can download the required credentials to set up connections from different services to your database instance. You can go to the service console and monitor the resource utilizations for your database instance. You can scale up or down resources for your database instance. And you can completely stop your database instance. As you saw, provisioning an autonomous data warehouse, it's very easy. It allows your business to have a mission-critical database 
within a few minutes rather than several days or even weeks. Now, let me show you how we can transfer data, which is stored in a bunch of flat files in a local machine, to a table in an autonomous data warehouse instance. And in order to do so, we are using Oracle Object Store as our storage environment on the cloud. Let me walk you through what I'm about to do. First, I'm going to use Oracle Cloud Infrastructure command line interface to move all the files from my local machine to the object store on the cloud. Then, I'm going to use Oracle Machine Learning Tool to transfer data in these files to a table in the autonomous data warehouse instance. The first step is to create a bucket in your object storage. Bucket, it's similar to a directory in your local file system where you can store all of your files. In order to create the bucket, we need to go to the object storage page. We can access this page by clicking on the icon on top left and clicking on object storage. In this page, we can create a bucket by clicking on create bucket. I've already created a bucket, which is empty right now. Next. I will use Oracle Cloud Infrastructure command line interface to move files from my local machine to the bucket in the object storage. On my local machine, I have a bunch of files which are storing some sales related data. These files are totally about 500 megabytes. In order to be able to use the Oracle client interface, first I need to set up a secure connection. In order to do so, I can specify a few parameters in a config file, which takes care of the security. Now, I can use the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure command line interface in order to move all of these files just by using a single command to my object storage. Once this command is completed, all these files are moved to the bucket in the object store we can go ahead and look at the web interface for the object store to make sure the files are there in the object store. I refresh the web interface for the bucket. As you can see, all the files are available here. Next, we want to transfer all the data in the files in the object store to a table in the autonomous data warehouse instance. In order to do so, we are using Oracle Machine Learning tool, which enables us to write some PL SQL code to do this transformation for us. In order to use the Oracle Machine Learning tool, you need to click on Service Console in the Autonomous Data Warehouse Instance page. Once you are in the console service, click on the Administration tab, and in this page, you should click on Manage Oracle ML Users. In this page, you can create new users, and once you have created a user for yourself, you can click on this Home button, which takes you to the Oracle Machine Learning tool. In the Oracle Machine Learning tool, you can create a notebook which allows you to write your PL SQL code. In order to save time, I've already created a notebook which I will show you next. In this notebook, first I create an empty sales table. Then I set up a connection between the autonomous data warehouse instance to the object storage. And finally, I upload all the data from the object storage to a table in the Autonomous Data Warehouse instance. Once the uploading is completed, we can look at the sales table and make sure the data has been uploaded there. As you can see, we have more than 11 million rows in the sales table and the uploading took us less than a minute. What I showed you was one way of transferring data from a local machine to a table in an Autonomous Data Warehouse instance. Your business can easily migrate data to the autonomous database by using different tools and services which are available for doing this. Now, I want to show you the elastic scalability feature in the autonomous database, which allows you to increase or decrease resources without any downtime to your application. In order to do so, I'm going to use oracledatagroup.com, which enables us to create a workload which runs against an autonomous data warehouse instance, and it takes care of scaling up or down resources automatically. In the oracledatagroup.com, you can monitor the CPU utilization and the number of CPUs dedicated to the autonomous data warehouse instance, which runs behind the scene. You can go to the load tab, and create a workload which runs against that database. 
The database is a star schema database which contains more than 6 billion rows. And there are 6 different queries which you can run against this database. In order to save time, I've already created a workload which we are planning to run against this database. Next, I will show you how the system is able to elastically increase the resources in order to be able to answer this high workload. We can go back to the monitoring tab, and as you can see, the CPU utilization has increased to 93%. Also, the number of CPUs dedicated to this database has increased to 6 from 3. I want to point out the difference between static cost and the elastic cost. A static cost tells us how much you should have paid for enough number of CPUs to take care of all the workloads you have received during the last 24 hours if you didn't have the elastic scalability feature. The elastic cost tells us about how much you should have paid for the same workload during the same period of time with the elastic scalability feature. If you look at the screen, you can see that the aesthetic cost is almost 10 times more than the elastic cost. What I showed you was a true pay-per-use scalable solution. This elastic scalability feature allows your business to cut expenses related to data management. Oracle Autonomous Database changes the traditional practice of enterprise data management by fast provisioning easy data migration, and elastic scalability features, it allows your business to spend less, it enables your talent to innovate more, and also it assures your data security. Welcome to the autonomous world.